Alright, welcome to the first uh, Hobbit battle report for Blackfire Productions. Uh, today we're just playing on a 4x4 mat, uh, just showing you the uh, terrain, how it's set up right now before we get to the armies. So first off, here is the good side. Uh, it is Thorne's company with uh, Dwalin Keeley Gandalf allied with the Rivendell Knights, led by a Rivendell Captain, all with shields, uh, lances, elven blades, bows. Okay, here is Ian's uh, Goblin Town allied with uh, Moria Goblin's army. Uh, he has three warbands from Goblin Town, one being led by the tiny Goblin Captain there. Love them all, this player is looking. Uh, it's 12-man uh, strong, and he has the Goblin King, which is uh, also 12-man strong. Uh, lastly, Grinna, 12-man uh, strong Goblin Town, and then over there he has the uh, Moria Shaman, Cave Troll, and Bats. Uh, so totaling 500 points, so this is his 500 points, and we'll get back to you as soon as we figure out what we're playing and deployment. Okay, here's Ian. He's going to be rolling to see uh, what match we have today. Hoping for something good for numbers. Numbers would be great. All right, here we go. Five. So we have five. So that would be Reconnoiter. So we'll come back once we uh, determine deployment and see you shortly. Okay, so here we go. We're going to roll to see uh, what happens, uh, or what side, sorry, that we'll be setting on up on. So Ian's going to go ahead and roll first. And that is four. So let's see what I get. Six. Uh, I'll just set up on this side. So deployment in a second. Okay, so priority for the de first deployment with Reconnoiter. Go ahead. So four again to my three. So okay. priority Goblin Town. Rolling for the Goblin King's Warband. And they come on this turn. Yeah. Let's see uh, Let's go, who's let next. Let's do the Shaman next. Yeah, Moria Shaman and his Warband. Let's see if they come on. They're not coming not this turn. Not coming on. Go ahead. Goblin Captain. He, he is, is coming on. on. This game really suits the uh, Goblin Town army with the mass numbers. Reconnoiter, you know, my 8 to his 41 or so. 40 or so, yeah. Alright, next. Grinna. 3 is not, is coming. not coming on. That's it. Let's see what happens once he's deployed. Alright, so we're going to see what happens with uh, Gandalf and Thorin's company, see if they arrive this turn. So, on a 1, they do not, and the Rivendell Knight and his company, they do not on a 1 either. Okay, so this is conclusion of turn 1. As you can see, there's two warbands on there. We have the Goblin King and his warband, as well as Lena and his warband. On Thorn Company's side, the Rivendell Knights, as you can see, is absolutely nothing. And let's see what happens priority turn two. So I have a whole whopping two, let's see what he gets. He gets four, so priority up and down. Okay, so Ian's gonna roll for his two last four at the end of his movement phase to see uh, if he can win. So, who are we gonna try for first, Ian? Let's go for Shaman first. Alright, Shaman first. Shaman. He's still not coming. Not coming on. He's coming. Grinna is coming on, so we'll come back at the end of good uh, deployment, hopefully. Okay, so here we are at the end of uh, good deployment. I'm gonna see now if uh, Gandalf comes on. Gandalf and Thorin's company does come on. Now let's see uh, if the Rivendell Knights and the Captain come on. And they both come on with the plus one bonus. Alright, so once they're deployed, I will uh, come back and show you what happened at the bottom of turn two. Okay, so Gandalf and Thorin's company just came on. Gandalf, at the end of his movement, is going to use one of his three points of will to uh, cast Blinding Light. So let's see if it goes off. Uh, it goes off on a six. There we go. So now, turn three, priority. Go ahead, Ian. Three, two, one. Priority, Goblin Town. 
Okay, so here is the end of turn three goblins movement. I got the uh, Goblin King over with, there with his warband that's spreading out. And then you have the uh, Grimna's warband over there. And lastly, the little miniature captain over there. Uh, so they're pretty much straight across a 4x4 board. Uh, it's going to be pretty hard for me to stop one half of them. I might be able to stop one half and then go for the other with my eight models. Uh, but let's see what happens. Um, Let's see if uh, Ian can bring in his uh, fourth woodman with Cave Troll, Bats, and uh, Sean. No. no, not again. <laughs> Alright, so movement now for the uh, good heroes. We'll be back to you shortly. Okay, so end of uh, turn three. The Calvary have charged up the uh, center there. Uh, that way they could hopefully swing to either side of the board wherever I need them. Spread them out and start shooting, hopefully. Uh, Thorin's company, Gandalf, Keeley, and Wallen have moved up the one side. I mean, they'd probably end up charging, I'm thinking, towards the uh, Troll King and his squad, but we'll see what happens. Uh, let's go into uh, priority for turn four. So here's my roll. Six. So I automatically get it. You have it last turn. Um, that's pretty decisive right there. All right, so I'll come back to you uh, at the uh, bottom. Bottom two and four, the movement's done. The corner of the shooting here in a second. Uh, Rivendell move, Knights moved up five inches. Uh, they have a little bit of line of sight blocking there with the trees and that, but uh, they should be able to get a few shots off at the goblins, hopefully to dwindle them down a little bit. Uh, you got Gandalf, Healy, and uh, Dwal in there. we are making the way over to, uh, towards Goblin King. Don't have eyes on him yet for the wonderful Sorcerer's Blast, but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, so here, here we go. I'm going to start off. Um, I'll roll them all at the same time. Well, three of them at the same time. Um, I'm going to go for the uh, three on the left here. So the captain the uh, and two regular guys. I probably won't be mighting it. I'll just see what happens. So they're going to be shooting at the uh, rank over here. Uh, of the Goblin Warriors, and uh, we'll see what happens. So they need fours. So that's uh, two hits so far. So front rank, and then if I can get the second one, so we'll see what happens. All right, both twos, nothing. Uh, lastly, I have two more archers. Uh, they're just gonna try picking off the one guy, fire goblin on the far side over there. All right, so one hit. Let's see what happens. Nothing. All right, end of shooting. Uh, no assaults, no nothing like that. So let's go into priority for turn five. So we have a four to four. So I had it last priority, so evil has it this turn. See at the end of the movement. Okay, actually before we get to priority and whatnot, uh, or actually the next round, we gotta see if the Moria Shaman shows up with his work. Almost forgot about this. Alright, yes. so they do show up this turn. Uh, they're gonna be lagging a little bit behind, but uh, they'll be good. Alright, so Moria Shaman and his warband has showed up. So you got the cave troll, the shaman there. Uh, then you got the bats swooping in over on that side. Uh, and I believe Ian's gonna be casting Fury with his uh, shaman, so we'll see what happens here. Higher, let's go. All and right. he gets it on a four using one point of will. Okay, so uh, end of Gandalf's movement. Uh, he's gonna actually try to sorcerer spit last. The one goblin boy uh, using his three point of will. Four, five or six. See what happens. And it's a four. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna use my points. But I will might use my points. Back, right behind me. And let's see what happens. So, the uh, first goblin is uh, in the threes. It's dead. One behind him. It's just not. Yep, yep that one's not. Okay, here we go. So, this is bottom of turn. Uh, Five movements been completed. We got one prone uh, goblin over there. These guys are skirting around the mountain. 
the Rivendell Knights, they move back enough just to be able to shoot and hopefully get a line of sight of the Goblin King. It looks like he might be eyeing up a uh, throw through the cave, or the uh, ruins wall there. Uh, everybody else has just finished moved up. Goblin Shaman is just out of range for his fury to be infected with the uh, one dead goblin. And uh, we'll see what happens with any shooting. Alright, go ahead Ian. Roll away for uh, if you still have line of sight in that. I'm going to try and shoot a goblin. Let's see who I can see here. Oh, I can see the edge of his base. Alright. Let's see what happens. Got range, so. Godspeed, fair goblin. No. Nothing. Captain lives so, another day. Another so dead goblin. Okay, my shooting phase. Uh, I have five shots that are going to be going into the four goblins there. Um, the green dive will be the captain, just in case I decide to knock. So we'll see what happens. On fours. So we have a total of one hit. Let's see if it hits the uh, gob wounds the goblin or not. And a four. That should be good enough to kill him. Another one down. Three goblins. Many more to kill. All right. So end of turn five. There's no assaults or uh, no charges or anything like that. No fighting to be happening. Uh, so let's go right into priority. So my roll is a one. To his two goblins have it. Come back at the end of the move. Alright, so one of the Rivendell Knights was uh, charged by the Goblin King. Uh, uh, eyes on him. So probably gonna knock down the force of the uh, But, uh, so I'm gonna actually lose Gandalf. Uh, he moves in 20 years. One free guy. He's going to be store to cast a new rise. King. So we'll see what happens. Uh, that was caught, so we go that one. So far, four highest. All right, so four highest. Is the Goblin King going to use any will to resist? Yeah, so one Nothing. How many might do you have? Are you going to use any of them? Burn any of them? To bump it up to a four? I've got three mm -hmm. might, so it would be all of my might. So. I don't think it's really worth it. Yeah, I'm going to save it. Alright, so we'll finish off the uh, turn with Gandalf charging the uh, bats there. Alright, so let's see what happens after I complete my movement. Alright guys, uh, so I'm going to start charging actually here into the Goblin King. So I'm going to start using my Calvary. Uh, so I'm going to start with this one here, see if he gets in. It does not, so he stays still this turn. Alright, and uh, this one over here, far one, you can see the exact same thing. Let's see what happens, that was Cox. He does get in on a 5, awesome. So I'll come around. There. And the third one here, let's see what happens. Does not get in. These elves are fearful, very fearful. Alright, so that's that so far. Okay, so a recap here. Uh, Dwalin charged into the goblins over there. Uh, let's see how well he can do at taking out those guys. Keely's sitting back. He'll end up taking a shot here. We have two uh, Rivendell Knights on the uh, Goblin King, uh, and then who's immobilized. We have Gandalf and the Rivendell Knight on the uh, bats. Two other Rivendell Knights that are quaking in their boots decide not to charge with their high courage, rolling incredibly terribly. Got a mass of goblins coming over here. That's the rest of the day. And hopefully, we can get rid of those in a turn or so. And over on this side, got a bunch hiding out. And coming around the back of the cliff, the tower. So let's get into prior. Uh, let's get into any shooting, which nobody has any. So uh, right into the fight phase. What about killing? Oh, thank you very much, Keely. Actually, who uh, did move half his movement, so he's going to try picking off the. Fire Goblin right there. Alright, and a two, so nothing. So, fight phase. Uh, I'm gonna be calling a heroic combat with the wall. So let's deal with that first. So, the wall in. Three attacks. Five highs. So 
Joseph Wallen wins this combat. Let's see uh, if he wins. Kills him. The goblin said, and he's gonna charge to the next two. So we'll uh, continue with that combat. Oh, Dwalin, he's the beast. <laughs> Wasn't a strong roll, but it was enough, so here we go. And, uh, six and do it. I need six and three, because I got a plus one on that from uh, two handed weapons, so both those guys are dead. Alright, let's go into the Goblin King here. So I have uh, three attacks to his. Uh, three. three. Yes. Uh, he is immobilized, so that's half attacks. So. Two, two attacks. And then uh, half your fight, so I do have the higher fight as well. So here we go. So the elves, you get a three highest, and the goblin gets it. So I back away an inch. He uh, can't strike me at this point in time because he is immobilized. So let's roll for priority for turn six. Oh, sorry, yes. Rivendell Knight and Gandalf. So Gandalf will be the green, Rivendell Knight will be the black, and I got a four highest. Oh, fives nice. again. Go back. Wow. All right. So they get pushed back, push back, and we'll go see if he wounds. Who are you targeting first off, Gandalf or the Rivendell Knight? What's the uh, defense? Defense on Gandalf is uh, five. And six on I got strength three. So one. All right, I'm gonna try first point of fate, and he makes it. All right, so no wounds on Gandalf, no wounds on the Goblin King. Let's go into priority. Five, and evil has four. All right, any heroics at this point in time for evil? I will counter with the uh, Rivendell Knight, uh, Captain. So, uh, one to three evil. Uh, four, five, six, eight, four, five, six, eight. Back. Okay, I'm going to start off with Gandalf. Uh, I'm going to use one for the one. One of the stories to pass on the gods and the Goblin King. Let's see what happens. Mm. happens. Uh, and then charging. We'll be charging. So we'll finish this move. Um, let's do some charges. So I'm going to charge first off with this uh, guy into the bats. Bats don't have terror, correct? So he just gets in there. Uh, next, the uh, captain here will uh, charge into the uh, Goblin King, he makes it in. There we go. The guy beside, Rivendell Knight beside him will charge into him. And he does not make it. That's never a good thing for elves. Um, last guy here, well, second last guy here will actually charge into the Goblin King as well. He makes it in. And then this one here will charge into those two goblins. Why I'm rolling, they don't have terror. <laughs> get happy with the rolling. Uh, Keely over here is going to uh, move half his distance, still hopefully be able to shoot. And then uh, Dwalin move into the base contact with these two. And that is good. All right, so this is how it looks at the end of the movement. Uh, Dwalin's over there battling two, uh, and then the two goblins are supported by a third with the chip support. Healy is sitting over on the side there. He does have a shot at that goblin over behind the uh, goblin king through the window there. Uh, the one Rivendell Knight sitting there untouched, uh, again, failing his courage rules. Bad die rolls. Uh, this Rivendell Knight is not surrounded, thankfully, but uh, it does have a swarm of goblins on him. So we'll see what happens. Uh, 
bat hopefully will be destroyed after this uh, turn of combat. Uh, Gandalf sort of snuck back just to get out of range of anybody. And again, over on this side. We've got the goblins coming in. So let's roll for uh, shooting, which clearly has one shot. So we'll roll for that. Uh, that's one, so nothing. Uh, no other shooting in this turn, so let's go for some of the assaults. Uh, I'll start over here with. Six, highest, higher fight, so I automatically win. Uh, let's see if we can kill him off. So, can't kill him off, <laughs> but he can kill off one of them, so that's something. So, let's do the uh, bats versus this Gryffindor Knight. So, Gryffindor Knight to charge, so he has four attacks. It's four highest. Ooh, twos, awesome. So, it is knock prone. Will be doubling my attack. So, what's the defense? The defense on the bats is three. Three. Oh, so I need threes. Here we go. So that's one dead bat. I would assume four wounds. Okay, maybe not. So three wounds off that bat. Oh my goodness. And then uh, let's go to this lonely Rivendell Knight over here, surrounded by the goblins. Let's see what he rolls. Four highest. Let's see what the goblins get. So we're doing this one. Yep. There we go. Do you have any over? Yeah, six. It's six. So there they go. So they're the winners. So roll. Go ahead. Roll this uh, wound. Higher strength, so we can get this. Yep. So nothing. Uh, what's your strength? Strength three. Alright, so you need sixes. So nothing. Unless you're going after the horse, that is, but should have declared that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, so he's still around then. Uh, let's go off for this ribbon all night. And the uh, two goblins, so two attacks. Rivendell Knights have a five. Awesome, so Rivendell Knight wins. Let's see what happens. All right, so one dead. All right, lastly but not least, Rivendell Knight versus the uh, captain. Ian here has declared he's going to use two points of might to boost that four up to a six. I will use the Rivendell Knight's last point of might to uh, tie it up. Four, five, six, good. Uh, one, two, three, evil, because I am using a lance. I did charge. So one. Goblin King gets it. So what's he going to do? He's going to use Hurl. Rend. I'm going to rend. All right, he's going to rend. So, compare the strength. Let's see what happens. Strength five. Uh, defense six. So you need uh, fives. All right, one. there's one. Uh, he does have a fate point, so I will use it. And it's a three, so he does take a, wo a wound. All right, so that's the end of this turn. Uh, let's roll for priority, see what happens. I rolled a six. It's a one. Any heroics anywhere? No. No heroics for evil. So good, gets it. All right, be back after the uh, movement phase. All right, so Keely here you can see the uh, Goblin King through the window. Uh, he's gonna hopefully pass his courage test, see if he can charge in. Uh, he can. So there we go. Keely is in on him. Uh, next, I'm gonna try the uh, Rivendell Knight Captain again. He makes it in with it. 
And lastly, I will uh, try this guy on him as well. And he does not make it in. That's two turns in a, ra in a row. He hasn't done anything. Uh, let's go to Gandalf here. Uh, Gandalf actually is going to move over here. Sorcerer's Glass. Using uh, just a free one. We'll see what happens. So one. Far Cry from nothing. Then you'll finish his turn just charging it. Why not? Uh, and then we'll come back after the rest of the movement. Alright, so this here, uh, Rivendell Knight, he's gonna charge into that cave tool. Let's see what happens. So, five and a one, so he's in. Goblin here actually uh, decided to pull the Rivendell Knight off of the Goblin King. Keely is sitting around doing nothing uh, as another Rivendell Knight. Over here, have another swarm of guys from uh, or another swarm of goblins on another Rivendell Knight. Cave Troll uh, and uh, Rivendell Knight here charging. And over there, hopefully. Wallen can take care of those last two uh, goblins on that side. So, uh, no shooting this turn. Uh, let's go right into combat. So, uh, let's start off with Gandalf here. Let's see what he does with his bat. So, Gandalf gets a five highest. Six. And so, the double sixes for the, uh, for the bats. Alright, so, go ahead and roll. See if you win. Defense five. Strength three. Alright, so fives it is. So, nothing. Nope. All right, uh, let's do the uh, Rivendell Knight Captain versus the Goblin. So Rivendell Knight Captain gets threes all around. Oh, he wins. He's he gets pushed little goblin. back. Does he wound? Uh, is he going after horse or rider? Horse. Okay, well, he's throwing then. Come back. Okay, so let's see what happens to the uh, Captain. I'm just using Glorfindel's model. I don't actually have my Captain yet. Okay. So. That's a six, so he's still standing. He gets off his horse, no issues whatsoever. Uh, let's do uh, Keeley versus the Goblin King. I will be uh, calling a heroic strike with Keeley using his one, one of his two might points. So uh, he's going to go up d6. So he goes up to uh, fight eight, I believe. So are you gonna, do you have any might left to no might. that? All right. So I'm hoping for a six here from uh, Keeley. And he gets five highest. Ah, uh, he takes win. the combat, so let's see if he uh, can wound him. Needing fives, and so nothing. But he gets pushed back an inch. That's something. Surviving. Alright, so let's do this, uh, this combat with the goblin. Two attacks. So five highs. So the wind goes to the uh, fight that moves to the wind that night. That's what he gets. It's very dead. Six here. Oh, two highest. Uh, you win. What are you gonna do? Rend anything else? Like that? I am going to rend. All right. So strength two. Uh, strength three. All right. Last combat. Goblins here versus Rivendell Knight. Who charged? So three highest. So I gotta count these up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they win. Let's <laughs> see what happens. So are you going against the rider or the horse? Uh, I'm going against the rider this time. Okay. So sixes. So Grinna needs fives. Yeah. And not yet. Not get any. And sixes for everybody else. 
There's and one. there's one, so Ryder is dead. Uh, it's not looking good for us. All right, so let's do uh, priority. Oh, we still have. Oh uh, yeah, sorry, Dwalin. Dwalin. So Dwalin's three attacks versus the two goblins. He has a six. Oh, he wins. No point roll. Let's see if we can kill them off. And again, one down. One down. That's not good rolling, Dwalin. So, all right, end of the round. Uh, priority, and then we'll go back in the next turn. Three. Three. So, evil gets it, uh, and I will be calling a heroic move with Gandalf. Come back after that's done. Okay, so uh, first thing first, uh, Gandalf. Gonna cast uh, with his free one and one from his stores, uh, Sorcerer's Blast on this goblin here. Hopefully, getting it off. He is not. And I'm not gonna be using any might to boost it up because I don't have the uh, might to do that in this situation. And he's gonna charge back into the balance. Um, after that. Captain is going to charge into the goblin king. So he is getting it with eight. Healy will also charge into the goblin king. He is not getting it. So he sit down this time. Honestly, it's a little bit of Okay, uh, I would say, look, they're pretty close to the end. Looking grim for the forces of good. Gandalf is completely surrounded there. He's by himself against the little goblin king. That Rivendell knight is uh, on the cave troll, two guys on him. Dwalin is safe on his own all the way over there. But we'll see if we can spring him back into combat here in a second. Come back to you uh, with combat. So, where do you want to start in with priority of your uh, guys? Let's see if Dwalin can finally finish his job. All right, Dwalin. Let's see what happens. Six, Six he wins so again. Good. But let's see oh, if we can I kill did. only one. No, this time he oh, would have no killed. Six, yeah. He would have killed all of them. All right, Dwalin's good. Hopefully let's get him into the combat and see what he does. Alright, All right, cave troll. Cave troll. And two goblins. Yeah. So I have one attack. I roll the four. And that's three sixes. You win. Uh, the cave troll is going to rend, so yep. I'll do him first. It's better to rend in this situation, I think, than hurl. Uh, the rider. Yeah. He's very dead. So there we go. Another one bites the dust. All right, where to afterward that? Uh, let's go for Gandalf. Oh, Gandalf, do you see this? Yeah, I left him here a little bit, hoping to get that Sorcerer's Blast off, but uh, it is what it is. He's now surrounded, so he does have one die, and he rolls a two. Two highest for me. And That'll do. That will do, there's no way I can contend with that, so uh, he's trapped, so double that, and let's see what happens. Defense five. So we'll do winner first. Yep. Yeah. He is strength four. Nothing. He does have might. There was a four there. Uh, yeah, I'll use a, I'll use a point of might. Okay. So that's uh, one so far wound on him. So we'll see what happens, and uh, uh, might as well roll the rest here. The bats have their attack next, and well, actually everybody else is strength three. Two wounds on him. He's down to two fight, uh, two feet. is now broken. I only have four models left. Wall and Keely. With no cap. Let's see what happens. Yep. So 
So Rivendell Knight did charge, so he is getting two attacks. So I did win with that six, mm -hmm. though, which is big. So they're both knocked down. So those two goblins there are knocked down. So uh, everybody's pushed back an inch. So I'm going to put one on one. Let's see what happens. He is dead. And then one on the next, and he's also dead. All right. Hopefully I can break the goblins at some point, maybe. Uh, last fight here. Alright, sorry about that. Had a phone call. Had to come through. Um, so last fight here is the uh, Rivendell Captain versus Goblin King. So Rivendell Captain, three highest. Goblin King, five, five highest. I saw those two ones and I was hoping. <laughs> so uh, what's he going to do? I am going to rend again. Rend. Alright, so he's strength four versus your strength six. Five. five. Yeah. So you need uh, fours. So There's one wound. One wound and he is down already one uh, wound. So he is killed. Alright, definitely broken. Hopefully the dwarves with the one Rivendell Knight can actually win this for me. Let's roll priority for next turn. That's cocked for me, so we'll just grab another one. So two, five. Alright, well, their priority will come back after me. Okay, so this is what movement looks like at the end of the turn. So, okay, so the end of the phase, uh, this is what movement looks like. These goblins, a large chunk, will be off next turn. Come on all the way over here. These guys are starting to run away. Uh, Rivendell Knight is surrounded by a pack of goblins and bats. Keeley has been charged by the cave troll. Uh, Dewalin is charged into the battle of goblin there. Uh, so no shooting in space. Let's see what happens in the fight. I will be calling that girl combat with uh, Dewalin, so if we can turn up that one back. And uh, let's go off with that one. Can't even might it at this point. Alright, so Wallen loses that combat. Let's push back. Alright, then moves. Nothing. Okay, so Keely's on his own. Uh, Keely is uh, gonna call a heroic strike in that. Whatever combat you want to go through next. Yeah, we can do that. Alright, so heroic strike on Keely. Throws up six, so he is up. Three highest though, come on. Keely is not doing well. Alright, what's he gonna do? And I will again be rending. Okay, so strength four. So one. Actually, no. Two. Strength two. six. Yeah, so two wounds. So uh, he does have one face. Let's see if we can save it. Nothing. So he's. Keely is down. I think I might be tabled next round if it continues. Alright. Uh, last fight, Rivendell Knight he was charged. He gets one attack with uh, four highest. Three, two. Let's see what uh, the goblins got here. Oh yeah, they got a six. All right, so what's gonna happen? Rend, I'm assuming. Goblin King's gonna rend. Okay, so uh, threes. He's dead. Dwalin's last man standing. Let's see what happens. Uh, priority for next phase. One for good. Six. Okay. Well, we'll come back after movement. All right. So, goblins are making a move for it. Rushing the end of the board. Cave troll, goblin king are like leaving Dwalin in the dust. Two goblins over there have uh, charged Dwalin, and that's that. So let's, I uh, guess, straight into combat. Here we go. Dwalin gets five highest. And he wins. Oh my goodness, Dwalin. Let's see if he can kill another one off. Dwalin does get another Two. kill. Well, I can only oh, do the that's one. That's right, yeah, so. supporting. Okay. Back one, toast. Yeah. So, I think, really at this point in time, there's not much sense, I don't think, to continue, because yeah. Dwan can't catch them, mm -hmm. and uh, you got a lot going off the table. So, well, that was a gotta game. say, Ian, good game. 
Uh, and thank you everybody for watching uh, this first battle report. Leave any comments in how to improve or your thoughts uh, about the combat. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again. Happy Wargaming.